Uh, hello everyone, so um, today I'm going to wind a 4 to 1 Bellin. The only thing I would recommend you do is, because you need two wires, right, two windings, uh, mark them somehow. In this case, I've not stripped one end, and I've stripped this wire is stripped, so I can tell these two apart. Uh, the other way of doing this is just measuring it with a multimeter afterwards, uh, but I'm lazy, so um, yeah, this is the approach I'm going for. Now, we're going to wind this terribly. I'm not even going to care. Um, I'm going to show you, you don't really have to do that great a job. So we're just going to wind it through. Don't care about twisting or anything. Yeah, don't care about that. Just, um, yep, just do a rush job here. And there we go. Look at this, look at this wonderful balan here. Look at that winding, wowee. So now what I'm going to do is the wiring for this thing. You start off with one wire doing something. <laughs> and this is obviously, you can see these two, these two, you get a pair, obviously one stripped, one not. What you want to do is whatever you put in the middle, you need to have the opposite side there. So these need to be different. So that way you have one winding going round, then you go into the second winding going around. Uh, that's it. Radio. Uh, I'm going to just twist these together. I'm going to solder this uh, to a connector, and we're going to go measure this. All right, so now we're back with our bellin. Now, I've tried to intentionally make this look really, really awful. So, um, yeah, it is actually two windings right next to each other, uh, but it's all um, jumbled up, messy. This looks effing awful. Uh, what I've done is, as I said before, those two center ones I've just twisted together, <laughs> haven't even soldered yet. And I've soldered a 220 ohm resistor, which is, yeah, it should be a 200 ohm, but this is close enough for my uh, testing purposes. And um, yeah, now we can uh, give it a test on the VNA. So let's see what we see. Now, <sighs> I made up a little set of janky leads here with um, some awful soldering here as well. That's okay. Uh, we've got our little thingo, so just to check, we can see that it's, you know, that's working. See, it's open circuit, Now we short them together, and you see them move over to the other side. Yep, it's fine. So what we can do is, well, depending if you want a bellin or an unin, most people make unins, so they'll put the uh, the negative terminal on one of the sides, and then the center terminal on the, the center here. If we look at our sweep, Oh, I don't know, 1.3 to 1 at 40 meters, uh, let's see, 1.2 on basically 80, uh, let's go up to 10 meters where it will be a little bit worse, and 10 meters is 2.25 SWR, so this is not the best bellin in the world, that being said, it's completely usable, um, and yeah, this is the dodgiest wiring, well, you know, dodgiest <laughs> worrying I could possibly do. What I'll try and do is I'll try and make it a little bit neater. So I'll just see what happens to the effect of tightening everything up as I, I mess around with this. So um, yeah, let's see if I can make this a little bit neater. You know, there's a winding there. There's a winding there. There. Let's see if we can not get them all tangled up. Oh, come on. I'm probably going to rip the rest, uh, resistor off and make my test useless. So, yeah, it makes a little bit of a difference. Um, you know, we're at 1.85 SWR on 10 meters now, so let's go back to 40 meters, where I usually run things. 40 meters, 1.2 to 1. And remember, this is a 220 ohm resistor, so... Um, yeah, she's not the, the best uh, thing in the world there. Anyway, um, do want to make a note. You can actually hook this up a different way. So uh, the VNA won't change. I'll, I'll try and keep it in the frame here. If you put the shield on this center connector here and put your active straight out to the antenna element, it doesn't do anything to the VNA. Uh, it'll be exactly the same. But this now has a whole coil's worth impedance to get to the um, the shield of the coax. 
So this is the way I like connecting things. Um, yeah, center straight out to the antenna wire and the shield uh, on the middle uh, middle tap of the transformer. And this will be a basically a ballon. It will choke the shield from accessing, um, you know, acting like a counterpoise, essentially. So this is generally the way I like doing things. Now, as you can see, not the best ballon in the world. Like, you know, if you can make this, I, all I did is literally shove the wires through, even if I wrap them all up, you know, just just like that. Um, if anything, that actually kind of improved things, didn't it? <laughs> but yeah, no, see, it doesn't really matter what you do with your bell and winding too much. So long as you've got the right um, wires going through the core, it doesn't matter if you make them neat or not, um, for a 4 to 1 bell and, you know, I show you, it it really does not make that much of a difference, even if I get this super tight, if I can. Oh, uh, if I can. <laughs> yeah, so you can see, just have fun with it, um, you know? Build one and see what you see. Um, that actually looks worse. It's interesting. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, you get the idea, essentially. There's... Um, doesn't really matter what you do, just, you know, build and have fun. Uh, the reason why this one probably doesn't perform so well, uh, the SW is not really low enough, is because I've only got five windings, and that's because this piece of wire I just found in the cupboard, you know, is just two pieces of scrap wire I had. I'd probably recommend going more for about ooh, eight turns, I'd say. Um, yeah, it depends, um, you know. Uh, but yeah, this is a kind of a bigger toroid as well. If you have the little FT one forties, they're a little bit more flatter uh, than you know two forty forty three. So um, yeah, have fun. Don't be scared of winding balance because you saw what I just did and you see the result. It's not terrible. This is perfectly perfectly usable. Radio uh, catches all later. VK four Delta Lima.